Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you installation of MySQL server. Along with MySQL server, we will be installing MySQL workbench as well as MySQL shell. And also, I will be showing you how to create sample database and how to use it. So, let's start the video. So, you can open any of your favorite browser and just type MySQL. And now here you can see the official website that is mysql.com and just click on this downloads button. So it has redirected me to this download page and now here you need to just scroll down and here you can see there is option mysql community GPL download. Just click on this. And now here it is showing me different community downloads available, yum repository, connector and other products also. I am going to select MySQL installer for Windows as I am having Windows machine. So just click on this link. And now it has redirected me to this page. And here it is showing me MySQL installer 8.0.31. And here are the two options for installer. One is MySQL installer web community which is only 5.5 MB. And another is MySQL installer community which is 448 MB. So if you are taking the first option then for that you need internet connection throughout and for the second option you you can download and you can install later also. So I am going to select second option. So here I am just going to click on download button. So now it has redirected me to this page. Here I am not going to log in or sign up. I am going to just click on no thanks. Just start my download. And now you can see my download has been started. So we will wait. Download is completed. Now I am going to just click on this MSI to start my installation. Let me just minimize my browser. And here it has started. MySQL installer 1.6 and now here it is showing me choose a setup type so various options available developer server client full if you take full option then full product will be installed like uh, MySQL server MySQL shell MySQL workbench connector documentation all product will be installed I just want the required one so I'm just going to take option custom and click on next button and now here in the select product option, I am going to select the three products. So just expand this MySQL server and go to MySQL server, MySQL server 8.0 and here just select this MySQL server 8.0.31 x64 and click on this arrow. Now next just expand this application and here and MySQL workbench 8.0.31 x64 and lastly now I will install MySQL shell MySQL shell 8.0 and MySQL shell 8.0.31 x64 and add this also to product to be installed. So these are the product which I am going to install on my system so here I need to just click on next button. Now here it is showing me these are the product which are ready to install. So I am going to just click on execute button to complete the installation of this product. Okay so installation of product is done. Now I am going to click on next button. Now here it is showing me product configuration. So here uh, we have to do some configuration of SQL server like providing password creating user. So we will be clicking on next button. And now here you can see it is showing me the port number of MySQL server. So the default port number of MySQL server is 3306. If you wish to change, you can change. I'm not changing. I'm keeping default one. I'm just clicking on next button. And now here it is asking me authentication mode. Two types of authentication available. Use strong password and use legacy method. So I'm going to take the first option. Use strong password. And I'm going to click on next button. Now here you need to provide password for root user. So root user is your super user. Whatever password you want to provide, you can provide. And just remember that password because for login purpose, we require that. So here I have provided password. It's showing strength as weak. That's okay. No problem. 
so if you want to add new user other than root user so you can click on this add user button and provide the required detail i'm not going to create a new user i will be working on root user so i'm just going to click on next button okay here it is showing me windows service so as soon as installation gets complete your mysql will be run under windows services with a name mysql 80 and here is the check mark which is showing start mysql at system startup so when your system starts your mysql server will also start so yes we are okay with this click on next button and now here it is asking me server file permission so it is asking me the grant full access to the data folder so you need to just select the first option yes grant the full access to the data folder so data folder where your all databases are stored so it is asking permission for that so just click on next button here it is showing me apply configuration so these are the configuration which will be applied on my install product so i'm going to click on just execute button to apply the configuration so again it takes a while so you have to just wait okay now it's showing the configuration of mysql server 8.0.31 was successful so your mysql server installation is completed now here it is showing me what you want to start after the completion so workbench and shell if you want to start both you can check mark both i'm just unchecking shell and i'm just starting mysql workbench to show you how to use workbench also okay here it is showing me mysql connection instances so local host and uh, port number 3306 so let's connect to this instance so just click on this and here you need to provide the password which you gave during installation so now you can see it has connected to my mysql server now here you can type whatever query you want so i'm just going to type show database just to check whether it is working or not you can click on this tools to execute your query so you can see it is showing me my default database available so mysql workbench you can use for performing your queries now i am going to open a command prompt and i am going to show you whether it is showing me mysql version or not so just type mysql and hit enter and now here you can see it is showing me mysql is not recognized so you can connect through command prompt also but it is showing me not recognized because i have not set the path so uh, just go to your installation directory that is c colon program files and mysql mysql server and bin and just copy this path and now we will be pasting this path in environmental variable so in search just type env and then here you can click on environmental variable and here under system variable select path and click on edit here we need to add the copied path so just click on new and paste the path which you have copied click on okay okay and last time okay okay so we have pasted the path okay so let me open a command prompt so uh, just in search you type cmd uh, so here i am going to type mysql hyphen u and then root hyphen p and just press enter so it will ask you password provide the password which you gave during installation so you can see it has got connected to mysql now here what i'll do i'll again type the same command show databases okay so you can see it is showing me my databases so using command prompt also you can access your mysql now the last option you let's open a command line client so that is nothing but a console for mysql so in search you can type mysql client and now here it is asking me password so provide the password and you can see it has got connected and now here i will be creating my database so create database cs corner semicolon enter and now you can see i'm just typing show databases and it is showing me my database that is cs corner and now after this i will be creating a table so let me create a simple table create table student 
and roll number will be of type integer name will be of type var get to okay it's showing me error no database selected because i forgot to write command ucs corner so uh, unless you change your database you won't be able to run your queries so just type ucs corner that is your database name and you can press up arrow to get your previous commands so see it's showing me um, query okay so that mean my table is created i'll just type describe student so it's showing me structure of my table and now last i will insert one record to my table so insert into student values 1 comma sunita so i just inserted one record put a semicolon and hit enter and now let's view the record so here i am typing select star from student okay so you can see it is showing me my table roll number name and the value in that table one and sunita okay so this way you can run your queries on mysql command line client so workbench is a gui and command line is a console for mysql you can use any of this so guys this pretty much conclude my video i hope you enjoyed watching my video if yes then don't forget to hit on like button if you have any kind of query or you face any problem during installation you can just type in comment box i will surely reply to your queries guys if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press bell icon to receive notifications thank you guys for watching my video till end i'll see you in my next video till that bye bye and take care